Kai just back from Las Vegas. Not the result you wanted, to, but very, very close. Could have went either way. Yeah, it's just one of these things when you're fighting the top top guys in the world. It's it's a game of inches, and um, you know Brandon won on that night. But I'd love a rematch in the future, and you know. Uh, we did get a, um, a good reception and people liked the fight and it was close to getting fired the night. So even though I lost, it was good to kind of showcase um, my skill set and, and what I bring to the table for the American fans. And Dana White was happy. I saw him in the press conference. He said he'll sort me out some bonus money as well. So, um, you know, it's a, a, comp a nice compensation of uh, not getting the result. But um, yeah, we're... We can take a lot of positives away from this fight and um, build off it and um, just roll on to 2020, um, not be too complacent and not, not dwell on, um, what, on the results and, and just pick myself up. I've done it before. It's not the first time I've lost. So um, I know what it takes to, to get back in uh, the winning circle. So we're all doing the right things at this gym. Like I said, in, in, uh, at the top tier of this division and that I'm in, you know, anyone can be anyone. So um, it was his day, but um, I'd love to run it back and and, uh, and and do it again. You might get that chance because you're both right up there in the, in the top. Um, no injuries from the fight? No, no injuries, just a bit of bruising. Um, obviously, it's, it's expected when you go three rounds and yeah, you go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I don't think there was any takedowns this fight. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. But no, no injuries. Um, you know, my spirits are still high. I'm, I, this isn't going to break me and this isn't a setback. My stocks still stay the same. If not, they go up. And uh, we just move forward. So um, 2020, UFC is coming back to Auckland in February 23rd. Um, I expressed that I'd want to be a part of the card. Now that uh, this fight's behind me, the one in Vegas for 245, I'd love to be on this Auckland card. So um, I'll sit down with the UFC and, and with Eugene and we'll, we'll come up with a game plan. Um, and I'm sure they'd want me to be on that card as well. So um, it's, uh, it's kind of perfect that, uh, that this card's happening in my hometown. And uh, to put on a performance like I just did, uh, we're just going to use that momentum and, and, you know, get straight back in there. And uh, that's what I'd love to do. I don't want to sit too, too long on a loss and, and dwell on it. Let's just move forward and, and go from there. Well, it was only a year ago everybody was wondering if it was going to be a job for you at all. You know, the whole division was in doubt. But with fights like you've just put on, uh, is there any talk of that or is that in the, in the distant past? In the distant past now, you know. Even Joe Rogan was saying I'd pay, I'd pay money to watch these guys any day. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of, um, a lot of attention, to, um, you know, being in Vegas and, and putting on a show for the flyweights. And it, it just really solidified our spot in the, in the company and in the sport. Because at our weight class, there's no stalling. It's just go, 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 right from the bell, right to the end. And you saw that in the fight, um, action-packed. And, and we're here to perform and we're here to, you know, um, be exciting. So we, we definitely delivered that. And, uh, yeah, we can definitely build off that. So there's a, there's a few guys that don't have fights coming up. So potential matchups. So we'll see who the UFC want to give us and um, the, I, I just want to fight in my hometown you know fighting in Vegas dealing with the travel and and it's a lot of it's a lot drier over there so you know so it's, it's, it takes a little while to get used to but to wake up in my own bed and fight in my hometown that that's what I want to be doing if they put a time on how when will they finalize the card would it be before Christmas yet that you'd know um, I'm not too sure exactly when they'll finalize it but you know this will happen in the next, sorry, next week. We'll get confirmation and we'll build from there. So we're about 10 weeks out from that card. So it's a lot of time to get ready for and, and to find an opponent. So not too stressed about the time limit. Um, if the UFC want you, they'll make it happen. So uh, this week I'll listen to my body, you know, do all the rehab and, and uh, make sure that uh, I'm making sure that uh, everything's healing up like it should be. And then um, we'll be training right through the holidays, you know. Christmas and New Year's is around the corner, but when you've got a job to do, when you've got a, uh, a date set, that can wait till after the fight. And um, I don't want to dwell on it too much, and I don't want to, you know, go on holiday and get unfit. I, I just want to kind of rewrite um, this, this wrong that, that's happened and, 
and uh, work towards the next thing. And uh, that, this is how I process and I won't be fully satisfied until I make a make my uh, homecoming fight in UFC Auckland, February 23rd. Well, you, you, you're not the only one that hopes it happens because all of us out here want to see you in action again too, mate. So thanks for talking to us, mate. No worries, bro. Thank you.